look at this towel. Boy, that's sure a mess, isn't it, Mom? I wonder who used that towel. You did, yesterday. Oh, is that the one I used? Yes, and it was spanking clean. You know how that happened, Mom? I didn't wash my hands. I just rubbed the dirt off on the towel. Well, why on earth would you do a thing like that? Keepers, Mom, I did it for you. You said your bridge club was coming over and you wanted to keep the wash bowl clean. <laughs> the most newspapers for the paper drive wins a wonderful prize. Well, the boys don't need a prize for doing something for charity, Mrs. Holland. Sure we do. What's the prize? Well, you boys may never have seen one of these before. I know one thing. It's not a nickel. <laughs> it's not even a quarter. <laughs> That's a silver dollar, boys. My father gave me that when I was a little girl. It's very generous of you to offer it as a prize. If it's too old to buy sodas with, I'd rather have a paper one. Oh, we'll buy sodas, all right. Practically every youngster in the neighborhood's going to try to win it. Johnny Brady? Mm-hmm. He started collecting papers yesterday. Well, I don't want Johnny Brady to beat me, so I'm going to get my wagon and get going. I don't have a wagon. Me and you can be partners. And after we win the prize, we'll split it. Swell! It's a deal, Tommy. George, I made you some soup for lunch, and I want you to clean your plate. Oh, well, thank you, sis. <laughs> I haven't had service like this since Martha went to visit her mother. I know, and you were getting absolutely peaked. Now you eat it up before it gets cold. Oh, wait, stop. That soup is scalding. Well, that's the way soup should be served, piping hot. No wonder I didn't <laughs> melt the spoon. George, don't play with your food. You eat it. Well, it's so hot, I couldn't tell what kind it is. It's parsnip soup. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Mother's old recipe, she always said it was good for you. Yes, I know. Twice a week for 20 years. I hate parsnip soup. <laughs> Mother knew what was best for you. It's full of vitamins. It'll make you strong. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, I'll get it. You eat your soup. What's <laughs> that poor little plant? <laughs> Hi, Miss Wilson. Is Mr. Wilson home? Oh, yes, boys. George, a couple of your little friends are here to see you. Oh, Dennis. <laughs> hey, uh, tell him I'm about to take a nap, sis. You just had a nap. Then I'm going to work on my coin collection. Well, just take a minute. <sighs> Parsnip soup and now Dennis. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hi. Oh, hello, boys. <laughs> well, I finished it, June. Would you like another bowl? Yes, in about five years. <laughs> now, what do you boys want? We want all your old newspapers for the paper drive. Well, you're too late. I've already given them to Johnny Brady. Johnny Brady? Jeepers, we're in a contest for a dollar prize. Well, I'm sorry, but you're too late. The early bird catches the worm, you know. Oh, we don't want any worms, just papers. You see why he drives me nuts, sis? You see? Now, George, he's only a little boy. Besides, I think there's some papers down in the basement, over by your workbench. Oh, not enough to bother going down for. I'll get him, Mr. Wilson. And while we're down there, Tommy, I'll show you Mr. Wilson's new fishing rod. Oh, no, I'll, I'll get the papers. I'll get them. Would you boys like a cookie? Sure. Swell. Good. Just a minute, and I'll get it for you. Boy, she sure is a nice lady. She sure is. I wonder what kind of cookies we're going to get. I hope it's chocolate. Me, too. Boy, look at this, Dennis. Sure is a skinny looking thing. Yeah. You know what my mom does when a plant's like that? She puts it by the window. Well, it's still formed then. Okay. 
We'll put it on the television set. What do we do with this one? Put it where we got this one. Here you are, boy. Thank you, Miss Belson. Yeah, thanks. Here, take them and run along and good luck. Where'd you get the cookies? From Miss Wilson. Did you make them? No, they're star cookies. Well, then why didn't I get any? I'm starving. After all that soup? Uh, well, uh, especially after all that soup. Uh, uh, all those vitamins give a man an appetite. All right, George, I'll get you some in just a minute. You come on, boys, I'll show you to the door. Thanks for all your old newspapers, Mr. Wilson. And if we win the dollar, we'll buy you a soda, too. Fine, you do that. Bye, Mr. Wilson. Bye. Bye, Mr. Wilson. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Why, that soup does have vitamins in it. Then hurry up, sis. I'm coming, George. Why, this is the most fantastic thing I've ever seen in my life. I'll get you cookies right away, George. Oh, forget the cookies. Bring me another bowl of that soup. <laughs> paper that doesn't have anything in it up to the garage. <laughs> I'm not finished with that yet, Dennis. I bet you're through then, huh, Dad? No, I'm not. Oh. Boy, your eyes move fast, Dad. I've never seen eyes move so fast in my life. They're just zipping back and forth. I bet you're the fastest reader in the whole world. Goodness, I don't know what you're worried about. You know you're going to get our papers anyway. If I were you, I'd be making plans for tomorrow when the big Sunday edition comes out. That's right. I've got to figure out some way to get them from everybody in the neighborhood before Johnny Brady does. Good boy. <laughs> Good morning, Dennis. What are you doing up so early? I brought Mr. Wilson's morning paper so he wouldn't have to walk out in the lawn and get his feet wet. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you, Dennis, but I don't know whether Mr. Wilson's awake yet. I'll go out and find out for you. Oh, oh but don't you awaken him if he's still asleep. Heck no. Mr. Wilson's my best friend. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> What was that? 
morning, Mr. Wilson. Huh? Oh, Dennis, what are you doing here? I brought your morning paper so you could start reading it right away. I even put your glasses on for you. Would you like to start with the funnies? I'm not ready for the morning paper yet. Why, I haven't even washed. You don't look dirty to me. Well, I am. Uh, I mean, uh, I always wash before breakfast. That's funny. I always wash after breakfast. That way I get all the jelly and crumbs off my face. You have to try that sometime, Mr. Wilson. I have had the same washing habits for 50 years, and I am not going to change now. Are you mad, Mr. Wilson? Yes, I'm mad. You woke me out of a sound sleep. Now, as soon as I've had my breakfast, I'm going over to speak to your parents. You should be punished. I hope they make you stay in your room all day. But, jeepers, I have to be out collecting papers. Well, that's just too bad. You should have thought of that before you started waking people up in the middle of the night. Are you really coming over? Yes, I'm really coming over. Now, go on, home. <laughs> Hey, don't you think we ought to hurry up and get out of here? Dennis, what's your hurry? Jeepers, we don't want to be late for church, do we? We've got plenty of time, Dennis. And besides, we have to wait for Mrs. Holland. She's going to walk over to church with us. Well, why don't we go over to her house and meet her there? Because it's in the wrong direction. Whoops! I better go out and brush my hair! <laughs> Thing funny going on with that boy. Yes, well, there's something funny going on with Dennis. I seldom get a laugh out of it. <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Holland. Come on in. Good morning, Alice. Good morning, Mrs. Holland. Good morning, Dennis. Boy, we gotta hurry. We're almost late already. Better put on your hat, Mom. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Dennis, we have all the time in the world. Come on in and sit down. Thank you. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Miss Holland. How about a cup of coffee? Oh, thank you. I'd like some. Good. I'll pour you one. Boy, look at all those people going to church. And they're all hurrying, too. I bet we're going to be late and they'll all look at us and... Whoops! Dennis, what's going on with you? Nothing, Mom. Hey, Mrs. Holland, as long as we got all this time, why don't we go out the back way and I'll show you how much newspapers I've collected in the garage. Dennis, that can wait until after church. Whoops, I better go out and brush my hair again. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Wilson. There's nothing good about this morning, Alice. I, I want to speak to you and Mitchell. Well, come on in. Is anything wrong? Uh, yes, there most certainly is. Good morning, Mr. Wilson. Good morning, Mr. Wilson. Mitchell, I'd like to talk to you. Do you know that that boy of yours was over at my house last night in the middle of the night? In the middle of the night? Well, how did he get in? Well, my sister let him in. Uh, she was downstairs fixing breakfast. In the middle of the night? <laughs> yes, it was in the middle of the night. What did he want? Well, he brought me the morning paper. In the middle of the night? Let's not quibble. Uh, maybe it was close to dawn. Well, the paper doesn't arrive until 6.15, Mr. Wilson. Well, anyway, he woke me up, and I like to sleep late on Sunday. Well, we certainly do apologize, Mr. Wilson. Well, I don't think that's enough. I think he should be disciplined. <laughs> Dennis, come down here. Yes, you did. Come in here, please. Good morning, Mr. Wilson. Did you come to go to church with us? Dennis, did you wake Mr. Wilson up this morning? It wasn't me, Dad. It was that window shade. It went bang! Didn't it, Mr. Wilson? Yes, because you fooled with it. Dennis, what were you doing over there in the first place? I went over to get Mr. Wilson's Sunday paper before Johnny Brady did. Oh, it was for the paper drive. Well, I don't care what it was for. Mr. Wilson's right, Dennis. You've been told many times not to bother the Wilsons. Now, I'm just going to have to teach you a lesson. When we get home from church, you're to go straight to your room and not leave it for the rest of the day. Good. <laughs> How will I collect papers? Well, that's something you'll have to give up for the day. Okay. I'm sorry I woke you up, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Oh, the poor little boy. 
He's only trying to win this silver dollar that my father gave me when I was a little girl. I'm giving it as a prize to the child that collects most newspapers for the paper drive. Mrs. Holland, I couldn't care less. Uh, may I see that a moment, please? <laughs> Great Scott. <laughs> Well, I, I think that's a very nice thing for you to do, Mrs. Holland. Uh, I mean, boys can always use spending money. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I, I must run. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Well, that was an abrupt change of attitude. Oh, yes, here it is, sis. The 1895 silver dollar. It's worth great Scott, up to six hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, what an addition to my collection that would make. And it's an absolutely mint condition. But George, you can't enter that newspaper collecting contest. That's for children. Well, I don't intend to enter it. But I intend to see that Dennis wins. And then I'm going to trade him that brand new bicycle he's been wanting for that silver coin. <laughs> and all the sodas he wants besides. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem right to me somehow. Now, how can I make sure that Dennis wins? <laughs> oh, Mitchell, you didn't think I was serious about that. Well, yes, he's been up in his room ever since we got back from church. Oh, I feel so guilty. <laughs> Here I was pulling a big practical joke, pretending to be angry, and it backfires on poor little Dennis. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, from what you said, oh, I... Oh, you know me, Mitchell, fun-loving George Wilson. <laughs> Call the boy down. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Wilson. Uh, he shouldn't have been over at your house at that time of the morning. It was the middle of the morning. <laughs> well, I've taken a stand with him, and I just don't think I should change it. Well, good heavens, my own sister invited him in. Well... And besides, Dennis is collecting these papers for charity. Now, you're not against charity, are you? Well, of course not. All but... right, then call the boy down here. But, Mitchell, somewhere in the city, a baby is crying in hunger. <laughs> Dennis, come down here. Now that's right, boys. I want you all to stack your newspapers right here in my garage. Uh, there's more room in mine than yours, Dennis. Gee, that's swell, Mr. Wilson. Come on, Tommy, let's get started. Oh, uh, uh, just a minute. I, I'm not through yet. Did you have something else in mind, Mr. Wilson? Uh, yes. How much is the prize you boys are trying to win? It's a dollar. Well, that only makes, uh, 50 cents for each of you, doesn't it? That would buy a lot of root beer. <laughs> yes, but I think you deserve more than that. Do you know what I'm going to do, boys? What? I'm going to give each of you a dollar right now. One for you, Dennis. One for you, Tommy. Wow! Gee, Jeepers! And I want you to tell the other three little boys who are working on the paper drive to bring their newspapers to my garage, and I'll give each of them a dollar, too. Swell. Hmm. I think you boys will be sure to win the prize. Keepers, with your dollar and Mrs. Holland's dollar, we'll be rich. <laughs> oh, uh, didn't I explain that part to you? You see, uh, because I'm letting you use my garage, you have to give the silver dollar to me. <laughs> but of course, if you boys don't think that's fair, uh, we can call the whole thing off. Oh, that's fair, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, that's more than fair. This way, none of us can lose. <laughs> that's right, none of us. <laughs> All right, boys, you get to work. Boy, there goes a swell guy, Tommy. <laughs> sure is. Here's where I'm going to keep it, sis. Right here. The honor place in my entire collection. I just don't approve of what you're doing at all. Well, now, why not? You know how much Dennis has been wanting a new bicycle. Well, I'll even get Tommy one, too. <laughs> what do those boys care about an old silver coin compared to two brand new bicycles? Well, it isn't that. Aren't you forgetting that it's Mrs. Holland's coin worth up to $600, and here you are scheming to get it away from her? Oh, fiddle-faddle. What Mrs. Holland doesn't know about the coin won't hurt her.
little boy and another batch of papers for the garage? Yes, Miss Wilson. I guess it's probably the last bunch. Yeah, I think we got every newspaper in town. Well, that's nice. If you win the contest, I'll bet you're going to be glad to get those bicycles that Mr. Wilson's planning to buy for both of you. <laughs> Is brand new two wheelers? Wow! You know, it's strange he didn't say anything to you about the bikes. But I guess he wants to keep it as a surprise, so don't say anything to him about it, huh? Miss Wilson, we'll be so surprised that even Mr. Wilson will be surprised. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Tommy and me have to go now. Bye. Bye. Bye, boy. <laughs> and watch? Heck no. His sister says he has to stay in bed on account of his neck still stiff from being hit by that fun little paper. Oh, sir. Swell, let's go. Well, sis, you coming out to the garage? George, the doctor told you to stay in bed. Oh, not a chance. With that coin at stake, I'd be out there if I had to carry my head under my arm. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day I'd be so ashamed of my own brother, tricking those boys out of that valuable coin. Oh, June, stop talking like that. Now, are you coming or not? All right, I'm coming. <laughs> wow. uh, do you mean to tell me this is solid newspapers? Sure. Mr. Wilson's car's down at the garage having the dents taken out of it. <laughs> the boys did a pretty good job, don't you think, Miss Holland? Why, it's wonderful. They have more papers than any ten of the other boys. So do we win the dollar? You most certainly do. And it makes me most happy to present it to you. Thank you very much. Why, Mr. Wilson. Uh, well, you see, Mrs. Holland, the, the boys and I have a little arrangement. The silver dollar now belongs to me. That's right, Mrs. Holland. You know what good old Mr. Wilson did? He gave each of us a dollar so we'd collect lots of papers. That's why he gets the silver one. Wasn't that swell of him? It certainly was. Oh, that was very generous of you, Mr. Wilson. Oh, it wasn't anything, really. Oh, yes, it was, Mr. Wilson. I, I think we owe you a vote of thanks for allowing the boys to use your garage as a collection point. Really, it was nothing. <laughs> yes, it was, Mr. Wilson. You know what you are to me and the other kids? You're kind of a hero. <laughs> oh, great Scott. And when we grow up, we want to be just like you. The boy's admiration of you is completely justified, Mr. Wilson. Oh, well. well. Just let me tell you how your thoughtfulness and generosity are going to help the orphans in this community. Well, uh, now, please. Without you and your support, we wouldn't have half the newspapers we now have. And when you stop to think that those newspapers represent food and shoes and, and clothing, to all the orphans in this community. Oh, uh, now, uh, please, Mrs. Holland, I... Well, I'd like to add something to the drive. After all you've done? Well, uh, yes, you see, uh, I've been looking at this coin, and I've discovered it's a rare issue of 1895, and it's worth about five... <laughs> it's worth $600, Mrs. Holland. What? Are you sure? Oh, yes. So, uh, I'd like to add this to my coin collection, if you'd let me donate a check for $600 to the orphan's benefit. Papers. Imagine Mr. Wilson doing that on top of giving Tommy and me brand new two-wheeler bikes. For heaven's sakes, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> Three cheers for a good... 